I'm going to turn to the state to see if Ms. Williams. My understanding is Ms. Williams is watching through the live feed, so I think it's taken care of. All right, all right. Then, um, I already uh, acknowledged uh, the presence of anyone. Let me ask is this, um, well, let me address uh, Mr. Lorenzo first. Mr. Lorenzo, you've represented yourself pro se in these proceedings throughout, and we've had several discussions. The rules require that uh, at every important stage of the proceedings that I reoffer you uh, counsel. Uh, you are to be sentenced this morning. I believe that that is a very important part of your proceedings, so I am going to offer you, as you know, you have standby counsel, Mr. Brian Gonzalez, an excellent attorney, and he is sitting right next to you. Would you like for me to appoint Mr. Gonzalez to represent you today before I announce the sentence in your case? <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. All right. I just wanted to make that offer to yes, you. Gotcha. Are you then uh, representing yourself pro se, ready to proceed this morning? Yes, most definitely am. Is the state ready to proceed? That's right. All right. Um, I heard that there was. Is, does anybody need to be heard? Yes. This is the sentencing. Yes, sir. It is my understanding that uh, there are some friends of Mr. Valehouse who would like to speak this morning. Uh, so I let your honor's clerk know that that they do that they do wish to speak. All right. Um, well, I don't want to deny anybody the right. Uh, so who exactly is it? Is there a representative or? So nobody wants to speak? Change your plans, yes, sir. That's not a problem. That's Thank not you. a problem. We're flexible. All right, then. It appears that everybody is ready to proceed to sentencing. Oh, Mr. Um, Lorenzo, yes, you're raising your hand. Do I get to say something before sentencing? I will allow you the opportunity, yes, sir. Okay, very good. I'd like to take me about five or seven minutes of your time, if you don't well, mind. Well, I, I will... Uh, ask that you try to summarize it as quickly as possible. Okay, okay. First off, I'd like to thank Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Sonardi, and everybody else. That was part of the defense team. They were absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Can I address the state attorneys? You may. Yes. I'd like to uh, let you guys know that I have no animosity against you. You did your job and did a very good job of prosecuting this case. So I want to thank you for that because I appreciate your fairness to me. And that's what I appreciate. In this lifetime, I'm the bad guy. You're the good guy. Maybe the next lifetime, the role will be re reversed. Who knows? But I want to let you know that I uh, wish you all well. Okay. And to the judge, I want to thank you because you have uh, had incredible tolerance and patience and fairness to me uh, while I stumbled my way through this whole process. And I want to appreciate that. I want you to know that. And I want that on the record for the Florida Supreme Court. So I'd like that to be there. Um, I'm seeking the death penalty. It's in my best interest basically because um, it's a comfort. It's my, I'll be living a lot more comfortable than I would in the federal system living on death row, believe it or not. And, uh, and of course, that may sound selfish, but I've lived in a private cell for the last five years, and I'm going to have a private cell on death row. At my age, I want to be comfortable. I want my privacy. That's what I want. So that's what I'm doing. It may sound selfish, but that's the way it is. You live for today. You don't live for the past. You live for today. So I'm asking you to give me the death sentence because that will be more comfortable for me to live out my lifetime. I know I can be on death row for about 10 or 15 years, which I think is crazy. But um, uh, as far as I see it, it's just euthanasia. I already have a death sentence. Everybody in this room has a death sentence. So as far as I'm concerned, you're just offering me a euthanasia that I'm looking to do willingly. That's all it really comes down to. And so I'm asking you to do that, So, uh, and I'm gonna try to speed up this process so I don't have to wait 15 years because I got better things to do in my time. The sooner that I uh, uh, get euthanized, as far as I'm concerned, the faster I can get, the sooner I can get, fetch myself a new body and come back again. 
a fresh body. That's how I look at it, because that's how it is. That's how it's spiritual work. We're eternal beings. So the way I look at it is the sooner I uh, euthanize, the sooner I can come back. I've got better things to do with my time than to hang out and spend the next 15, 20 years on death row or in any prison system. So that's what I'm asking for. It's selfish, but that's what I want. So that's all I really have to say. All right. Thank you. Well, thank you. And I don't know if uh, what you say is uh, perhaps some form of reverse psychology, no. or do I care? I will not consider what you want in issuing my sentence. I know that. Yes. All right. So I am then ready to proceed. Did you have anything else that you want to say? No, I'm pretty good. I'm looking forward to getting this over with. It's been five long years. Yeah. All right. Does the state, based on the fact that the defendant made a statement, have anything to say before I announce the sentence in this case? No, sir, we do not. Thank you. All right. We recently had a penalty phase bench trial in which many witnesses testified. On February 7th, two very strong young ladies testified. Miss Ruth Wachholz, the mother of Michael Wachholz, and Miss Pam Williams, the mother of Jason Galehouse. They are observing the proceedings today. The thing that was consistent in their testimony was that they have been waiting 20 years for justice. Today, that long wait ends. In the words of Miss Pam Williams, from one Italian to another, ti condanno a morte. That translates to, I sentence you, Mr. Lorenzo, to death. That is the punishment that you deserve you. for these horrific crimes. My reasoning is explained in a 40-page order that I have prepared and signed and am filing contemporaneous with this sentence will be handed out to the defense and the state now. You were previously adjudicated. You shall be transferred to the Department of Corrections to await your execution. You have 30 days to appeal this sentence. Mr. Gonzalez, I ask that you file a notice of appeal before you file a motion to withdraw as standby counsel. Judge, I will inform the court that Mr. Lorenzo has already prepared a notice of appeal, and I intend on filing it when we leave the courtroom. I appreciate yes. that. Very good. Excellent. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Your Honor. I and appreciate it. Mr. Lorenzo, may God have mercy on your soul. My soul is fine. Thank you, sir.